Hi, my name is Dan. I'm a Solutions Architect here at Insight Finder. In our previous video, we kicked things off by covering the Unified Health View, which gave us a summary of what's going on in all the systems. Now, we'd like to take a deeper dive into the issues that could arise in our system before they happen. And we can do that by looking at the Incident Prediction page. You can find the Incident Prediction page here on the Start page or on the left-hand side in the tabs. So looking at this list, you can also filter it by start date and end date, giving you a time range, just as we discussed before. Um, there's also a number of other filters, such as prediction accuracy. So matched predictions are essentially true positives. They're predictions that happen and then got matched. Unmatched predictions are predictions that happened, um, but there was no incident matching the incident we were predicting, or enough time has passed and no incident has occurred. Future predictions are predictions that were made and not enough time has passed yet to confirm or deny it. So those you should definitely look out for when you're on a system. Um, invalid predictions are, as it says, predictions that um, became invalid for whatever reason. And then fixed predictions are predictions that were made, but no incident occurred because it was fixed beforehand. You can also filter by prediction source categories. So whether a prediction was made off of logs, storage networks, combination. You have component names, so if you're particularly interested about a particular instance um, or component, um, and then the patterns as well. So different predictions will have different patterns. Uh, looking at this list, we have a quick view into the root cause chain for these predictions. So this is a list of patterns of anomalies that led us to make that prediction. Next to that would be the status, so whether it's active, resolved, ongoing, a M representing that it has matched with an incident that occurred, a notification bell letting you know that an alert has been sent out for this prediction, a blue trigger icon saying that this prediction happened and then the system automatically triggered an action, and then this wand meaning that the prediction, um, the auto action actually fixed the prediction. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop right into uh, some of the details here for a prediction. So at the top of this prediction is going to be the prediction time, meaning when it was made, the detection time of the incident, and then the lead time that we gave on this uh, prediction. Below that would be just a quick summary, letting you know uh, from a glance what the prediction is about. Below that is going to be a root cause chain uh, graphic. Basically, it's showing you uh, what led to what. And you can click on these different components or instances to actually see the corresponding um, metrics, logs, traces that led us to this prediction. So essentially highlighting the anomalies that happened on each of these dependencies. So in this case, in this scenario, we can see that it all started with a change event. This was picked up from Jenkins. So Tom here added a new checkout service feature. And shortly after this change, a bunch of metric anomalies appeared. So the system was being used much more. Like the CPU is going higher, the load is going higher, the network packets are going higher. And all this leads us to predict that the checkout server will eventually return a 500 error. Okay, great. So now that we know this is a potential problem in our system, we can move to the recommendations tab to find different suggested actions on the different components and the different instances. We go to operator notes. We can see that there's a list of notes for this prediction. So if this incident has been actually fixed before any of these operator notes can give you more information on how to go about fixing the problem. And you can even edit current ones or add them and the reporter is recorded. And you can even delete uh, inaccurate reports. Triggered actions, uh, we can actually go ahead and see in this one where this actually did reverse a buggy deployment and fix the problem. So you can find the details of the triggered action off the prediction in this tab. Finally, I'd like to cover this thumbs up, thumbs down button. Uh, you can actually hover to see which reporter liked it or disliked it. 
And if you like it, all similar patterns, so this prediction below, also get a thumbs up. And this tells the system that, hey, keep making these predictions. This is a verified prediction. Giving it a thumbs down will actually make it so that the system ignores the prediction. Furthermore, you can receive notifications about these predictions in a number of ways, such as email or Slack. Other integrations include PagerDuty, ServiceNow, the Datadog dashboard, or through our webhooks. All of this will be covered in another video. So with that, that's an overview of the prediction page. And in our next video, we'll cover the incident investigation page. I'll see you in the next one.